There we go. There's one. Yeah. See you, bro. All right, what is going on, guys? So back out today for the first time in three months on the e-rider kayak. I know a lot of you guys have missed it, but it is back today on the river season. The river's open last week, so yeah, this is my first time out on it since the river's opened again. Pretty excited. I'm on a river I've never fished as well. So yeah, it should be good. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna get moving and try to catch some fish. I'll show you what I'm doing and show you the kayak and everything. But yeah, we just wanna get our first e rider fish of the new river season caught. So yeah, let's get it. It doesn't look like there's barely any bank access as well, so they won't get much pressure apart from, from people on boats, really, which is sweet. See if we can get some pike to commit. Got my coffee perch. I was planning on doing a full video with them, so I might end up doing that today. Yeah, get our first fish caught soon, hopefully. Just like, like I say, it looks prime. I know there's pike in this river. I don't know how many or how big or anything really, but yeah, I know there's pike here. Get moving with the motor because we're blowing backwards. Yeah, I'm probably, seeing as the flow's going this way, probably gonna get as far upstream as I can and then drift back down. So I'm not, I'm not really one for anchoring up or anything, so yeah, let's get it. Probably troll up to be fair, troll this reed line, see if anything will pop out. One more cast. Oh. Right guys, just got hooked up trolling. Feels like a good fish as well. I'm just sat down so it's a bit of an awkward angle. That's it, feels like a small fish now I'm going towards it. Right, it's not too bad. Yes, didn't have my camera on, so I wanted to expect it to get a hit then. Oh man, we're blasting back down. My anchor doesn't actually reach the floor, so it's like a drag anchor, but... Yes, yeah, first fish, coffee perch. Right, first fish, <laughs> not a big one. On a troll as well, but yeah. 23 centimetre coffee perch. Get this hook out of him. There we go, easy knocking. Oh, two three pounder, get him put back. Hey buddy. <laughs> okay, first fish out of the way then. So good. Like I said, I wasn't filming, so I, wasn't, I was just trying down the middle of the river, so I wasn't expecting to get anything, but yeah, we got one. So, first fish out of the way. Get my camera on now then. That fish hit it so hard then, that was really cool. I'm so literally trolling pretty quick, straight down the middle of the river. And it nailed it. Yes, I just adjusted the motor then and it slammed into it. <laughs> Only a little guy, but that was so cool. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah, he's a little guy. <laughs> so cool, though. I managed to get both hooks in his mouth, right? There we go. Same bait, part number two. Doing a bit of a poo, but. There he goes. That's so cool. Like I said, I knew they'd be in the edges. I've only done a few casts and yeah, got nailed. Little guy, but I'm sure we'll get something a bit bigger. I'll just crash into the edges, whatever. Another bit of river that's nicely out of the wind. Get some casting done. I can't imagine many people fishing this far up the river at all. Well, <laughs> I've not seen a fish for ages since that last one I caught. It's been at least an hour. Yeah, I had a touch. There's, oh, that was a hit. That was 100% a hit, you see that swirl there? Just I'm saying I've not had a touch for ages. Oh, that slammed into it. Oh, 
doubt that'll come back. I definitely felt the hooks there. <sighs> Might have been a good fish that way it hit as well. A lot of grass. It's kind of difficult to fish because it's, it's pretty deep, but there's also a lot of grass. Uh, so yeah, can't fish too deep because you get grassed and don't really want to fish too shallow as well. So find that happy medium. I'll end this dip. Little guy, I watched that come out and smack it then. That was a really cool hit. <sighs> Had the bait T-bone in his mouth then. <laughs> well, missed it. Hopefully he saw that on camera. He proper shot out for it. Slammed it, set the hook. Uh, but yeah, he didn't have any hooks in his mouth, so I missed it, but two hits in this spot then. That's good. That were a really small fish. Probably a pound, maybe two at a push. <laughs> Let's get another hit. Nothing for an hour and two hits in about 10 minutes or less than 10 minutes, five minutes. All right guys, so while the fishing is pretty damn slow, we're going to talk about my new battery. I know a lot of people were commenting about my old lead battery being like close to water and being heavy and everything, but yeah, we've upgraded. A nice lithium battery. This, my old lead one was 25 kilos. This one weighs less than five. So yeah, so much better. It's waterproof. Show you inside this. So yeah, waterproof case, not much to see now. I've got a little USB thing. But yeah, that, this little tiny case, it's less than five kilos, has the same power as my old big, well, it's probably got more power actually than my old big horrible lead battery. So yeah, I just thought I'd show some of you guys that. Super nice uh, link up, so no big horrible clips or anything. Like I said, fully waterproof. Takes like three hours to charge, whereas my old lead one took like two full days. <laughs> so no, it probably takes more than three hours, but yeah, it's a lot less. USB port on the edge there, so you can, not USB port, 12 volt charger port. So you can charge your, your cameras, your phones, and also you can run your, GPS uh, fish finder off there as well. So that's really cool. I didn't bring mine today because I forgot my clamp for my transducer. But yeah, next time I'll be running off this. So yeah, just thought I'd show you guys that Rebel Cell 1250AV. I'll put a link in the description to this anyway, but yeah, proper game changer for these small kayaks when you've got limited space, something like that. Really easy to carry around, takes no space or weight up on the boat. And yeah. A lot better so yeah link in the description to that if you want to check it out and i will try to get back to fishing now i'm a bit stuck in weeds at the minute but yeah let's try to get some fish caught all right yeah i'm not going any further up here now we're just gonna start my drift back down i'll put a little bit heavier tungsten on just to get a bit deep because it's quite deep in the middle and yeah we'll get a drift on all right just put a bit a bit of heavier tungsten on and get casting been out three and a half hours already i've just checked so, yeah, hard work for three and a half hours, two small fish. Getting kind of warm now as well. There we go. Oh, yes, ready for that freaking inlet thing. I've just started drifting, I got one. Oh, man, he's going late. Fucking barrel rolling, bro. Well hooked. Get him in the net. Yes, fish number three. He went mental then. Right. I knew there was one there, but yeah, I've been casting from the other way and not had a touch. Right, I'm going to spin this round and, and try and get wedged somewhere. All right, guys. Finally, whoa. Finally got third fish. Not a massive one again, but. Yeah, probably the biggest one so far to be fair that, so yeah, little two pounder, get it slipped back. See bro, I want to get another cast on that same spot. Like I said, cast on there, from the other direction, no hits. That was first cast towards it, from this way and he went, I'm kind of 
annoyed at myself though because I've I, just from looking on Google Maps I just presumed this river would be like six foot deep so I've only brought my short anchor out but it's like eight, nine, ten foot deep so yeah a little bit annoying that my anchor doesn't reach the bottom but we can make do with it I suppose Wind's blasting it down this stretch. Yeah, oh, little Jack. <laughs> I didn't even feel it because of the wind. Okay, I've just had another hit then. Just shows getting the boat in the right place, which current as oh, oof, that was a better fish as well. Oh, no. Can't believe that just came off. No way. Okay, I need to find a way of slowing my drift down. That was another good fish. Our first one wasn't good, but that was a good one. Was definitely a good one, that. There's one. Yes. That's a little better, hopefully. Hard to tell. Come on, come on. <laughs> there we go, one fish. Oh, yes, finally. I'm gonna put my anchor down, it's not gonna do much like, but oof, got an old wound, this one. Got a raker hanging out. You guys can see. Yeah, this one's just hooked in the side of the mouth, so there's no way that on my hook that got that gator hanging. Gator, raker. Pop this hook out. There we go, pretty well hooked off there, that one. We're drifting, but fish number four, finally. Flip. Not a big fish, but <laughs> we do retail, man. Not a big fish, but I'm pretty happy with that. Fourth one, nice and cold in this river. See you, bro. Got it in my finger a bit then. Right, fourth fish. A few more casts now. That one literally did just Come out of nowhere then. Well unexpected fish. Not a spot where I had a hit or anything coming down even though I did fish it pretty thoroughly. But yeah, I'm glad that one popped out then. Again, just a, just a jack. I've not seen anything like really big yet. There's another. Oh yes. That was well quick after that last one. It's only tiny this one though. <laughs> yes. I just turned my motor on the wrong way. Uh, okay, come here little bugger. Barely, barely bigger than the lure. Uh, I hit it pretty hard that then to see the size of it. Pretty lightly hooked but I'll pop that out. Right, compared to the size of the uh, tiny fish, tiny tiny fish, but it's a fish. That's number five. Finally starting to wake up a bit now. That's a couple of minutes after that last one. Oh, follow her. Oh, I just spooked it with a motor. <laughs> I came out of the middle of nowhere. That one. Little guy, but. I see another pike. There's one. Oh, yes. Watch that one come out and take it then. Oh, so good. Number six then. Oh yeah, yeah, I did see that one. Yeah, I had a pike at it. entrance to that one actually. Yeah. That's, that's as far up as I went. Yeah, it's the first time I fished this river, right? Oh, is it? Yeah. Alright, so I just had my sixth fish. 
Uh, a guy came up on a kayak, so I didn't really talk during the release or anything. But yeah, six pike now. Um, that guy said he's fished this place five times and never caught anything. So yeah, I was thinking I was doing pretty bad, but I think I've done all right to be fair. I'm gonna fish. Whoa. I'm gonna again. Just get into that corner where I missed three fish. I'm gonna fish to that and then end this video. Probably have had six now though. Oh, slack line. Oh, that must be that same fish that slack line before. I just saw it come away from it then. Man, that proper slack lined it then. Like, not even. I <laughs> normally get a little slack line, but that way, like a good meter or so. Just. All right, guys, so that is the first kayak session of the new river season complete. Six pike missed probably eight or nine. So, yeah, it's not been too bad. It started off very slow. Picked up a bit towards the end. Fish with these uh, coffee perch, pretty much. Oh, I think I fish with them all the time, to be fair. Uh, got all the fish on them. Had to put quite a bit of weight on there. There's like 12 gram of weight, just cause there's a lot of flow. Just, uh, you know, stop the blur being on the surface. But yeah, we had six fish. <sighs> Drove far. I reckon if I carried on fishing, I'd have more, but I want to try and squeak another video in. But yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed first kayak session. Hopefully I'll get plenty more. Ah, my ankle. Hopefully I'll get plenty more of these sessions in on the kayak. I had fun, even though it's been pretty, pretty, uh, pretty hard. But yeah, six fish. Well happy with that new uh, lithium battery. I'll leave a link in the description to that if you guys want to check it out. Like, still on like 50% now and I've been out on the water five hours using it like pretty much non-stop. So yeah, well happy with that. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, whatever you want to do. The video I'm going to film now hopefully will come after this one. So you'll see that as well. But yeah, catch you guys next time.